I'm so tapped up, and this is Birdstopia. This is a, frankly, rather shameless Abyssrium clone in terms of gameplay. Um, but on the plus side, oh, let's unmute those. On the plus side, if you like Abyssrium, this is basically Abyssrium, but with birds. Uh, it does have some nice features. Um, I really do like the visuals. Um, I like the bird focus. It kind of, it tries to be its own thing. But if we look into the gameplay aspects, um, here's your eruption, here's your delicious food, uh, here's your song of the moon. Um, just to activate those. You've got, um, you even have the remains of the Nautilus, which is now the dodo. Um, you've got mysterious shell, I think, and I forget what this one was, giant clam or something. But yeah, you've got the exact same things um, in terms of passive skills, in terms of active skills. You upgrade your taps. Um, these are basically your coral. You've got uh, four different uh, biomes for the birds. Um, you unlock these gradually, but you start with the estuary, which is like, I guess, water area for birds. You, you unlock the jungle. Um, savanna and mountains, I believe. Uh, yeah, mountain. Uh, instead of fish, you have birds. Um, a neat aspect of this is that you upgrade birds. You don't buy more of them. Um, you buy, and for some reason they go up to either 300% or 290%. They don't all upgrade to the same maximum, which is weird. But you just buy one of each bird, and you can upgrade them to increase their bonus. And so it's a bit more completable than uh, Abyssrium, because you know eventually you'll be completely done. Uh, it will take a while, of course. Um, the game is kind of the same as Abyssrium, even down to the... They even stole the, like, beginner package, junior package, advanced package. Um, they're slightly cheaper, but overall, as you can see, we... From day one, we have over $100, uh, almost $200 worth of in-app purchases total. Um, you don't need... You don't really need them. I... I... I find it extremely hard to recommend any kind of in-app purchase, anything with over 50 bucks. Especially, it's got ads. You, you can feed the developers from with ads. It doesn't... Yeah, I, I feel a little... They also have the quests, kind of like Abyssrium. And instead of just having a photo quest, they also have quests for, like, just tap the tree a bunch. Um, tap the bird's vitality. I mean, resources. It's different. It's not vitality. It's resources. Um... But it's fairly shameless in some ways, in terms of being an Abyssrium clone. But uh, it also means that it's easy to get into. And um, a neat thing is, since it's about birds, you can bird watch. So, here's... what is this? Oh, it doesn't tell you what, what the name is. You can see in each biome, there are specific birds that will show up. And you can get a nice little picture here. This is kind of your substitute for the actual 3D photo mode in uh, Abyssrium. Come on, birds. There you go. Some ducks, little hummingbird there. Uh, and you can change which birds appear. Well, you can turn them on and off. You can't really add more birds to make anything super crazy. But um, you can take some nice little photos. You can wander through the, uh, through the environments. And you unlock these gradually. I have, you know, I, I would say like I'm halfway through the game. Which I figured was a good point to uh, show the game at. Oh, don't crash. Oh. Yeah, if you saw my pocket plants video, um, it, uh, this is why I try to record on PC, but then sometimes recording on PC doesn't work well and I have to use my phone. Uh, mobile games are kind of hard to record, right? Um, this game also has events, which are kind of Abyssrium's top feature, I would say. Um, the, the current one was a Lovebirds event, and unfortunately they're all fairly similar, but uh, it was pretty easy to unlock all the birds. I did it in about in uh, less than a week, and there's it has like, I think it spans over a whole month. I guess a little less than a month, but still, it's plenty of time. Um, and they already said that feathers will um, carry over to the next event, just like Abyssrium. Um, they're making improvements. This game, actually, I was really reluctant to do a video because um, I got to, as soon as I hit L, Vitality, in terms of stock, um, the price for the upgrading the life tree jumped straight to M, 
which is like orders of magnitude beyond what I can produce. Like one L is a, a decent amount right now for me. And so four L is actually really expensive um, just to upgrade that. So like I'm already fairly slow. Um, but it was actually basically impossible before the latest update. It actually just updated today, so they're still actively working on it. They're still improving. They're aware there's issues. Um, in fact, they just fixed an issue where the settings wouldn't save, so the sound effects and music were always on, and that was a little annoying. Um, it, it does have cloud saves, which is very good. Um, oh, they fixed that. They didn't used to tell you whether it saved successfully or not. Um, like I said, they're fixing things. Also, a really cool aspect of this game, um, one thing I don't like as much about Abyssrium, it doesn't have... It has fish and stuff, but it doesn't seem to really, like, have that real-world aspect. So this game, you can see when you buy a bird, it adds it to the encyclopedia. Um, you can see its common name, its scientific name, conservation status, habitat, diet... You can learn a little bit about the birds. It's, you know, it's, you know, it, it feels a little bit more like a game about ornithology than a game about birds. Whereas I would say Abyssrium, you know, it's not a game about marine biology. It's a game about fish. Uh, it would be nice if the game, like if Abyssrium were a little bit more, like if it taught you a bit about the fish, if maybe, um... Uh, somebody suggested, there's a Facebook group that suggested maybe they could do an event where, like, all of the proceeds or, you know, whatever, go to, um, you know, go to some, you know, marine life conservation charities. Like, uh, the freaking, uh, the Great Barrier Reef, I think, is bleached for the second year in a row. Uh, it's, there's some bad stuff going on. They could definitely, um... You know, raise some awareness of that because I think you know most people that like Abyssrium they probably like fish. Um, it's a big part of why I got the app. Um, that and the visual style, which this is obviously a very different visual style. It's you know flat 2D, but I really like the visual style of this too. But uh, oh, the, the achievements are another reason why it's pretty clearly an Abyssrium clone. They even have play with fish. I mean birds. Um, they, they pretty directly took even the names of certain achievements. Um, and, uh, you know, you kind of upgrade just very similar to Abyssrium, but, uh, if you're kind of like me in Abyssrium, where I'm at, like, CD vitality, and the game has just slowed down so much, I, I kind of, uh, it was nice to be able to pop into a different game, and, um, actually feel that feeling of progress for a bit, though this kind of slows down, like I said, once you get to where I am right now, it, it takes a lot to upgrade. And that's, that's kind of a shame. I'm hoping once I hit one of these achievements again, I'll, you know, be blazing by again, but I don't know. It still feels like something got a little broken in terms of... Because, like, the, the vitality cost for this, it doesn't just, like, increase linearly. Like, it just... It seems to jump based on how much total resources you've had or something. So, like, it's kind of a moving goalposts, which doesn't seem good for, a, you know, at a game like this. Because like, that's kind of the point of an iterative game. You know, you're always going up and up and up. And for the game to kind of take progress away like you, like, I don't know if that was, like, a buggy system, but it seems like it must have been built in intentionally. So hopefully they rebalance, but for now, as an up-and-comer... Um, I hope they, you know, further differentiate themselves from Abyssrium. And there are some ideas that Abyssrium could take from this game. Like I said, the encyclopedia is cool. Um, I like the news section. Like, Abyssrium, they are so bad at communications. Also, this slider is broken. It never goes to the last one. You have to manually click it. Uh, it's, it's buggy. They even copied the bugs from Abyssrium. You can see. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's nice to have these little... Uh, there's not much in it yet, because, I mean, it just launched um, earlier this month, I believe. They had the, their global launch. Um, I like the little tagline. A kingdom full of beaks, feathers, eggs, wings, and dinosaur DNA. Uh, but it's nice to have a new section so you can see what's actually new. Because, like, with Abyssrium, you know, I, I'm, I'm the one making the guide, and I have to dig to find info on what freaking even changed when they do an update. They're not really the the beta, the, 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 the best at um, saying, okay, yeah, we did this and this and this. Um, next update's going to be this. They've been getting better. I'll give them that. Their Facebook page has been more communicative. But uh, it'd be nice to just have it right in the game like this. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much what there is to show. It's it's a pretty chill, idle game. Um, I do have a guide for this on my website. You can see a very small portion of it here. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's uh, it's pretty fun. I've been working on the guide. The guide's kind of partially complete. As you can see, it's you can watch ads to refill your skills just like Abyssrium. The timers are kind of exaggerated relative to Abyssrium. They're kind of... Um, you actually have to wait an hour for a new recharge ad. The cooldown for Song of the Moon is two hours instead of one hour. Um, I would say it feels maybe a little slower than Abyssrium's, like first, like from A to Z. But then Abyssrium does have this really slow period um, around O vitality. So I mean, maybe that's where I'm, maybe they even stole that idea. Um, oops. <laughs> Click out of the window. So yeah, this this is Birdstopia, and um, I can't say it's better than Abyssrium, but hey, if you're a little bit bored with Abyssrium, you need something to check out until the expand update comes out. Uh, this might be your game. And like always, there'll be a link in the description to find it. You can just search Birdstopia. It's on iOS and Android. Uh, should be global launched, so it should be pretty easy to find. But, uh, and there's, oh, there's another thing. There are not hidden birds. Uh, I kind of figured that's probably, that and events are probably the two biggest aspects of Abyssrium. So I was pretty surprised that you just unlock these by buying, well, their habitats, which makes sense. But, um, yeah, no, no hidden stuff that I found. Just the event birds, which are, those are fun. But a little basic. Also, the multiplier for... The rainbow, which multiplies your resource production, doesn't increase the feathers you get, so it's a little slow, but it's not too bad. Like I said, it only took me a few days to get all the event birds, which really, I, I can't complain about that too much. But yeah, that's Birdstopia. Maybe give it a shot if you're bored with your current idle games like I kind of was.